Hey guys, I'm Paulina and I'm here to answer some questions today, do a little interview so that you can get to know me better, know what I'm about, and hopefully when you hear my music you can listen to it with a different ear. And what was the inspiration between the title for Down? Well, frankly, when I started recording my music, I just wanted to record. I wanted to get all my passion, all my emotions out there. It, it was a really long process to get to having even just the product that I have today. And I didn't know what I was going to put out initially. I didn't know if it was going to be an EP. I didn't know if it was going to be an album or one single, three singles. So I got to a place where I had created a whole bunch of amazing tracks that I put, honestly, all my heart and soul into. And I was, you know, I was thinking, what's going to be my first impression? What should be the first product that I put out there? And I selected five tracks that I think are the most representative of what I can do, what I stand for, the message that I want to get across. And the track that really stands out on that EP to me, because of the, a few elements, because of the production, the, the vocals, the lyrics, the whole, the whole thing is down. And that is the track that I also created uh, a video for, and I'm I'm really excited because it's really representative of uh, of what I want my my fans, potential fans, to to see of me. And so I figured, you know what, this this EP can be about that. It can be about down. Yeah, and I think you've achieved it on down. I think I think it really does absolutely capture what you're really all about. Thank you. And I think your fans really 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 want to know about when they listen to your music what do you want them to know about you when yeah. you're when you're singing and you're you know you're doing your video like what's the message that you want to get there I am um, just like every other girl or every other human being I've had a lot of different trials and tribulations and struggles and I've had you know friendships that went wrong I've had relationships that went wrong and I was never the kind of person that would crumble under that. I'm very emotional, I'm, I'm a sensitive human being, and I think I really put that into my music and I use that to my advantage, but the main message that I want to get across is that no matter what you do, what you go through, who hurts you, you get back up. And that's what I want to get across with every song, every message, everything that I do. Who's your role model growing up? I have some role models in my real life and I have people that I look up to in terms of artists. So I guess I'll start by people in my real life. Yep. My parents, particularly my father in terms of everything he's accomplished for himself. He um, started out with absolutely nothing and he built up a, a company, he was an entrepreneur, he was always running around just crazy, hectic, super hardworking and I saw that. I was growing up watching that every day. And that instilled a sense of how important it is to work super hard no matter what you do. And that's, I absolutely admire him for it. Wow, that's great. And in terms of uh, artists, it's the same reason why uh, I love Beyonce. is because of all the hard work that you see her put in to get to where she is in terms of everything. Her shows, her life show is incredible. And... Uh, her songs, her music videos, you just see this powerhouse of a uh, powerhouse of a woman who can do everything, dance, sing, look beautiful, run a family, run a business, and I think that's that's the goal. So what's your favorite song? Oh god, okay. I have so <laughs> right? Yes, I have so many. But in terms of maybe like if a song comes onto the radio and I absolutely can't not sing it kind of thing. Ah, uh, okay, so it's uh, every day you're singing that song? Well, if it, okay, say like a song comes onto the radio and I really love it, but someone tells me don't sing it, and I'll be like, okay, I can kind of try not to, but there's one song that I, I can't. I'll be like, no, sorry, I'm still going to sing it. What's that song right now? <laughs> a Thousand Miles. Oh. Da -da 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 -da. Great da -da 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 -da. song. Vanessa Carlton, it yes. just, it doesn't get old. Who's your go-to person when you need to lean on a shoulder or cry to somebody? My mom. I didn't mention that obviously she also inspires me when you ask me about who is my role model. She's, she's an amazing mom and she always listens and she always put me and my sister before herself as, as moms do. And uh, yeah, she, she will never send me away if I have a problem, even if it's the smallest little stress. So right now we see a lot of artists uh, you know, collaborating with other artists and they're creating great music together. So who's your artist that you would just love to collaborate with? 
Hmm, there's lots of great artists out there, but for me, I would say Ed Sheeran. Ed, if you're listening, I'd love to work with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now describe yourself in three words. In three words. <sighs> kind, passionate, and a little crazy. So now we're going to do some fun questions. So here you're going to pick between. You're going to make a choice. Pick between, here. okay. Pick between. Summer or winter? Summer. Okay. Pen or pencil? Pen. Mm -hmm. Should I explain? Please do. Because if you write something down with pencil, you can erase it, but it always leaves a mark. But if you, uh, you know how like if you erase it and you try to get rid of whatever mistakes still you made? Still there. Still there. So you might as well embrace those mistakes and learn from them. Oh, Pen's I, pen. I love that. Yeah. Chips <laughs> or ice cream? Ice cream all the way. Yeah. <laughs> Sad or happy song? Depends on the mood. I can't, can't pick between those two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Coffee or tea? Tea. What kind of tea? Green tea. Green Jasmine tea. tea. I'm actually a tea freak. Are you? Do you know David's tea? I love it. The Canadian David's brand. Tea. I I love their chocolate tea. Chocolate tea is yeah, really good. It's really good. <laughs> Jeans or sweats? Again, depends on the day and what you're doing, but for comfort purposes, sweats. Okay. Yeah. High heels or sneakers? That's going to be contradictory to the sweats comment, <laughs> but high heels with the jeans. There you go. Hair up or down? Um, I often wear my hair up. Okay. Okay. Instagram or Snapchat? Instagram. Beach vacation or exploring the city? Exploring the city, especially if it's a new city. Call or text? Um, text but long form. So writing a letter on text. Writing a, like, <laughs> kind of like a, like a letter, exactly. Exchange okay. of letters, yeah. Dogs or cats? Well, I have a kitty, so cats, but I love dogs too. Okay. Restaurant or takeout? Um, ideally restaurant, but not always easy to do. <laughs> Romantic comedy or horror films? Horror films. Really? Absolutely. I'm, I'm not a romantic comedy kind of person, but horror films, if it's a good one, yeah. Before we end this, I want okay. to ask one final question. Okay. And I, I just, I think everyone wants to know, what's next for Polina? Like, what's on the horizon for you? What do you have planned? I want my friends and fans and prospective fans to know that I just got started. I have so much I want to do. I have more music in the, in the works. I want to start playing live ASAP. I have some shows in the works, which is very exciting, and um, festivals in the coming year.